Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of the Civil Canadians. I'm Scotty V and I'm here with good old King Kansas. How you doing? Scotty, I'm doing well. I'm alive, I'm breathing, and yes. I'm awake. Good. Which is very rare these days because you know, you know, working overnight, King, not, is done, right? Not fun. How do you feel? I feel good. You can see, can't you tell this guy? It's like <laughs> you, you escape from hell and you can actually breathe. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Doesn't, don't you feel like that way? I like feel the king? That way. The king left hell? Yeah. Feels great? You know, so much heavenly. Better. So what are we going to, Scotty, so start the episode, buddy. So we obviously we're going to give you guys what we thought is worthy to talk about. And the first thing we're going to talk about is the Superman Lois TV show. I was shocked, man, Me to too. hear this news. Like, I wanted a Superman TV show because, hey, you're giving Batwoman her own show. Why not give Superman her own and show? I don't, that show don't look too good, Scotty. Bat, I don't no, think it's Batwoman is horrible. I watched, Did you watch it? I watched the first five minutes. I hated it. I turned it off. Never watched it again. I can't even watch the damn thing. No. I can't even. But apparently, people have hated on. Oh, a lot of people really? hate it, and I don't blame them. Does she? Is she like a robot in it? I don't know. They said that for the, the crossover thing last year, she was great. Yeah. But in this, she's really bad. Yeah. It's not. She's no. Not, it's it's not the same character you saw in the crossover. You gotta learn. You, okay, you can you know draw attention to you know the Batman this, Batman that, but if Batman's not a part of it, I think it's, I, that's what hurts, right? It overshadows her. Right. I guess. It's not. It's not just the writing and the acting. It's the. Actually, you know what? It is more the writing than the storytelling. Anything. Probably because, shit because they're insulting Batman, and you're pissing off a lot of Batman fans. Ah, okay. Right, so you piss off the Batman fans, you're not gonna get anywhere. See, Scotty, the Pennyworth series on is it uh, Showcase or whatever Showcase. the hell it's on? Uh, That's yeah, a damn good show. And then I kind of stopped watching the last couple episodes because of work. Mm -hmm. But that was done well, and that's yeah. about Alfred, for God's sakes. Yeah. You know, it was kind of like what they did with Gotham. Yeah, it was all about Gordon, and then all of a sudden, when it started to get old, oh, the young little guy becomes. Batman it kind of slowly took a nosedive right because I thought they were gonna stick that and you were just gonna introduce the villains during mm -hmm. that time and then at the end you would have a Batman emerge not this I don't know even know what the hell that was the last couple seasons with him the best parts of Gotham was without him and it was when they focused on thing yeah but Superman and Lois TV show I think is that's gonna come out of the crisis thing is that yeah, how they it's, it's what's gonna, gonna go down it's gonna come out of the crisis crossover mm -hmm. and the last time they did something this was way back when Lois and Clark Lois and Clark so they're gonna do something similar like that I hope if it's like that I'm gonna be happy because I used to watch that show every single and Sunday and that show did he was he Superman like he, he was Clark it was Clark Moore and then he would just be Superman to save the day kind of thing, right? Right, right. Which was kind of cool. But other than that, I don't know. I hope it's going to be just as good, but right. with their own take. I don't know. Is it going to be more Superman related? Because I don't know. Because well, for them to go Superman and Lois? I, I hope they focus more on Superman than they do Clark. Because okay. we already got Smallville. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that went on for 10 years. You already but got, that was more Clark Kent, right? That was more right? Clark Kent than Superman. Superman only showed up at the end. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Lois and Clark show was focused yeah. on Clark Kent. I want to see something more focused on Superman himself. Okay. And his, his loved ones and his villains or whatever they are. See, I hope so too. Uh, you know, and I hope it's like Lois meeting for the first time with him. But I don't know. We've got to see Crisis first, I right? Think, I think they're going to... If they know who each other are, like well, if she knows who Lois, his secret is, Lois, what secret? Lois already knows Superman exists and they're already together. Okay. They just never brought it on screen. So I'm just interesting if she knows the secret and if they're going to go sure. to the personal they relationship she she or is she going to find out in that series that... No, she knows. You I'm know? pretty sure Because that's knows. how Lois and Clark was. Yeah. She didn't find out till a little bit later what his secret was, and that was pretty cool. The last, the way they were interacting yeah. with each other and stuff. I, I think she really. I'm knows. looking forward to. It. So, what does this now mean for Henry Cavill and the? Uh, uh, we're not going to get Superman now, Scotty, for a while, and that's what they're kind of say here. Take a TV show now. That's a little complicated because they did kind of the same thing with the Joker, with the J uh, Jerome's character yeah, yeah. in Gotham. And that they was a wicked Joker, man. They, they See, we even forgot about including him in our greatest yeah, Joker thing. That was a surprise. Yeah, that so was the best thing. They're gonna wait on and see because the, the Superman and Supergirl they he's well received mm -hmm. so he's going to be okay now just Warner Brothers needs to pay Cavill the money he wants yeah because you can still do a Superman movie and a Superman whatever right yeah they're, they, they're doing that with Batman and Batman um, is, show, is in um, what do you call it show Titans okay he's in the show but he's not Batman Batman he's Bruce Wayne I gotcha you can, you're going to do a Batman movie what a great time to do a Batman movie and Batman on TV 
It's a great pr upper one opportunity. promotes the other. Yeah, one cr it's right. Cross, you cross know, what I think Scotty, they're worried about is if maybe one is better than the other because like the Flash on TV, people yeah. love Grant Grant Gustin. Gustin better than Ezra Miller. Miller's Flash, and that kind of maybe hurt the Flash character. I think that's how DC's thinking. Mm -hmm. I think for Marvel, it's a little bit different, but. I'm excited for this thing. When are we going to be getting it? Next year? Uh, so I believe sometime next year. So I'm probably thinking maybe even October. They're just going to film after yeah. the crisis and all. I'm glad to see Superman on the small screen. At least we get Superman anything. And I know that they can dive into his character more on a TV show okay. rather than the movie. Because honestly, what can you do with Superman in the movies? Not much. Right. You know he's pretty much you know an alien that can beat the crap out of everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's not. It's not like Batman. And he's normal. And he has to use his brain and his wits kind of thing. Right. So anyways, guys, you guys let us know in the comment section below what you guys think. Uh, you know, are you excited? Like we are for the CW. They're going to do the Superman and Lois. Is it unexpected? I think it's good. You think it's good. Yes. All right. So topic number two, Scotty. Mm -hmm. Speaking about TV and DC TV, apparently... HBO Max is going to be uh, giving us a gift, Scotty? Yes. What gift is that? They're going to be producing a Green Lantern TV show. Damn. So instead of getting it in the movies, mm -hmm. like originally we were supposed to get the movie the next year, which that fell through, they're going to do it as a TV show. That's so, good. I'm excited. I'm excited too. So somebody's been uh, watching Disney, seeing what they're doing with their Marvel properties. See, that's what I'm wondering now with this whole thing. I'm excited, Greenland, because that thing with Ryan Reynolds... It was a good attempt, but the story sucked. Like, the plot was just bad. Yeah. Like, I liked them as the Green Lantern. I just didn't like what they were doing with the character in the film. Like, right. the boss, whatever the hell that was, I don't even know what the hell was going on. Like, you know. Yeah, I didn't understand that story either. But, you know what? Disney, they're, they're doing the same thing with their shows. They're going to have Falcon with Soldier, She-Hulk, Moon Knight, whatever. Mm -hmm. And Warner Brothers is like, and uh, DC is like, hey, why don't we do the same thing? Instead of pushing out movies that are maybe could, could be shit, they can do focus on the TV show. And you can develop better. the character. So when it is time to bring them to the big screen, right. they can use, are they going to do what Marvel's going to be doing? Like using their actors that are, and the HBO yeah, Max? They're going to cross them into? over to the movies. That so, makes sense, because the other one, that Superman was CW, so that's, right. that has nothing so to do with it. if Warner Brothers and DC decide to bring the uh, the actors and all them from mm -hmm. Green Lantern to the movies for which the Justice League. Which is an excellent League, idea. Which is perfect, like you can connect everything. Exactly, so then four or five years down the road, you'll be able to put all these actors in an exactly. end of world kind of situation that there's a reason for them to be together. Exactly. You can still have your individual stories, right, Scotty? Exactly. And this is good, because this is perfect character development. This is that's the way, right. Scotty, you give a... Rats, you know what, but and you know, about a character, right? right? And you know, because the only thing that worked out in Justice League was, I think, Aquaman and Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Those are the two characters that, that stood, stood out and are moving forward strongly. Exactly, because the rest I of the characters it. are not. Cavill should have been Superman. He should have got his Man of Steel like three years ago, but mm -hmm. uh, whatever. That's See, that. Scotty, so they're learning. Why didn't they give mistakes. him a TV series then? Like yeah. maybe on HBO Max. Not yeah. to say that's not a possibility. Maybe that's what they're gonna do. And then in the movie, you know he just appears. You know what? It for me personally, it makes more sense for a TV show. I yeah. think so. I think so too. And you can do it like a six episode uh, story arc every single year, whatever you want with yeah. Cavill, and then. Like a exactly. Justice League, he can exactly. be a part of that. Because Disney Plus, what they're doing is they're giving movie level budgets to the each 25 episode. 25 million, isn't it? If Warner Brothers and wow. DC do the same thing, dude, you're golden, you're there laughing. You I agree with you 100%. And you right. know what? I'm excited for this. You know, my first comic book ever, Scotty, even though I'm a big Spider-Man fan like you, I, I only collected Spider-Man and X-Men. That, that's what I was. I right. care less about Captain America and the odd Batman here the and there or Superman. My first comic book ever I picked up was actually a Green Lantern one. For Hillary. Yeah, and that was like back in the 1990s, I want to say. And like, like, that was just, I just find something fascinating with the ring and the whole like out of the space mythology. You had all, all these stuff. other beings that were also Green Lanterns and all. Trust me, I'm not going to claim that I know everything about Green Lantern and no. stuff. It just makes a wicked uh, TV series, in my opinion. Right. Now the question is, is it going to be Hal Jordan or is it going to be John be, Stewart? It's going to be Hal. You think it's going to be Hal Jordan? Yeah, because then you can introduce... Uh, Stewart, um, Stewart in the Stewart's in the movies in the next one. So yeah. then you'll have him kind of like support him in a supporting role, maybe to kind of mentor him. Right. So you get your two Green Lanterns at the same time because you have Hal already established, and you have this new guy who's maybe going to take up the mantle. Yeah. Win-win situation. You guys, let us know in the comment section. Did you guys wanted a TV series for Green Lantern? 
or did you want him in the movies and or is this a better idea we think it's personally a better idea that he and for our Canadian TV. fans uh, HBO Max is gonna be on Crave TV so you're, so there you you're go fine. so we're not gonna miss out on it you know yeah just make sure we get Disney Plus that's what I'm excited <laughs> for exactly okay Scotty what's next what's next I wanted to talk about a movie trailer okay. you know I wanted to cheer up the tone a little bit you know a little different I know it's out of our realm of comic books but you know what when The Rock is involved. We seem to be talking about The Rock every single week, right? You know, first it was uh, Black Adam, mm -hmm. Black you know, and Sweet. Shazam and whatever. Now, guys, me and Scotty, I don't know, I'm speaking for Scotty though, but you know, Jumanji was a beloved uh, thing that Robin Williams did, right? Yeah. And when we thought, when they brought out the other one two years ago with The Rock, uh, Kevin Hart and whatever, we're like, oh no, they're going to mess this up. They're going to whatever. I liked it myself i didn't go see it in the theater we didn't see it i don't no, think we've no, seen it we didn't see it i saw it later and i laughed my butt off it was good it was fun it was different you know played homage to uh robin williams whatever and this is kind of like a different spin now we got a second movie coming out at christmas which we got to go see Techn christmas time technically it's the third one third one but for them it's part two with the next yeah. level whatever the hell it's called another trailer drop you know didn't quite see it yet saw the trailer before and mm -hmm. i liked what i saw the twist with kevin hart's character and right. introducing uh denny devito and denny glover yes two old farts <laughs> uh, that they become those two characters and it's just black isn't it too right jack mm -hmm. black and uh the girl who plays nebula yeah uh karen gillen gillen, gillen, gillen. Yeah. yeah so what do you think Did Did you see the trailer i saw the trailer okay. um it looks fun. It mm -hmm. looks like they're keeping the same tone from the first one they yeah. did. Now for a little higher. Yeah. For me personally, I think Jumanji should have stayed the one and done movie with Robin Williams. Really? Eh? You I, don't think they should have touched it? I, as much as I like the one with The Rock, I don't think they should have touched it. That's just me. See, for me, Scotty, I think it's one of the reboots, if you want to call it, that yeah. actually worked. You know, it's a soft reboot. It's yeah. still connected to the original. Yeah, exactly. You know what? And I, for some reason, the, the first one with The Rock worked well. Mm -hmm. So I could see why they did this, right? Well, I'm when, like excited to yeah, see this. When one the first too. one came out with The Rock, it was already 20 something years. Yeah. Right? Since the original came out, yeah. I remember I was scared crapless when. Well, no, no, when they're gonna ruin it. They're gonna kill Robin Williams' movie. Yeah. You remember, Scott? How down we were like. Just like Ghostbusters, with the, whatever that was. The, the women, all the women cast. Thank God they're doing a reboot with Paul Rudd. Yeah, that's another <laughs> one we have to see next year, 2020. But the women were great casted. It's just, again, the, story. the writing was shit. The writing was garbage. What was the reason for them to be Ghostbusters? Just having little cameos of the other guy? No. Nah. And Thor? I think Thor was funny in that one. Like, you had him as a dummy. Yeah. pretty much a dumb secretary but he worked in that film that was one of the highlights for me in that whole yeah. thing the special effects looked okay here and there but it was just storyline was crap like it was flat let's just say that right yeah but uh i'm excited for jumanji 2 or 3 or whatever the hell you three, call it i'm not so much no the king's gonna go see it guys trust me Christmas spirit, you gotta go see it. You know, the Star Wars and that, Scotty, you know? From now till then is a long time. But I like it. You guys let us know. What do you think? Should I not touch it? Should there be a sequel? Did you like the one with The Rock before with Kevin Hart? Are you gonna go see this one? Let us know. Yes. Okay, Scotty, topic number four. Your fr your good old friend, Kevin Feige, said something about uh, yes. moving forward. What was the whole deal with so, his uh, spiel? After 2020, uh, Marvel is gonna be releasing three to four movies a year. Damn. And you know what? I think that's good because mm -hmm. they're not rushing anything. They're taking their time with it. And I think it's great because if we're getting three to four movies a year. So it's like one movie every four months yeah. if you really plus, work it out that way. Plus the Disney Plus shows. Oh, that's probably that. 10 things all year round. I like it. It's great because 2021, what do we have? We have Shang-Chi mm -hmm. in February. Mm -hmm. We have Doctor Strange in May. We have Spider-Man in July. Yeah, whatever whatever it's going to be called yeah and i think that's it for movies i don't think there's anything batman. Else. the batman yeah batman but, but that's not marvel oh you're talking about marvel, talking but about marvel. You're i was talking about comic yeah whatever. comic book we have so much but if for marvel three movies are coming out I, from 2021 and on three movies are going to be coming out yes. a year and that's good that's you know what and we had it one year didn't we have one year we had three marvel movies or whatever yeah, 2017, we're okay. 2017. why not have another one yeah 2017 2018 uh, the past two years we got the there you go. movies. It was only, uh, what, we only had one or two last year? I can't even remember. Last that. year? No, we last Endgame. year. Endgame. 
This year we only had no. This year Captain was Marvel. Three. It was Endgame and Spider Man Far From Home. Okay, so three. So three. three's not. Why not another one? As long as it, it's not going to get saturated, you guys can stop crying on yeah. YouTube land. Oh my God, you know what? Four is too many. It's not too many, especially when we only get four movies a year, and there's a bunch of other ones for you. You know, just space them out more. You know, like I said, mm -hmm. if they do one every three or four months, Scott. Yeah, you're good. That that has enough time for them to put on DVD, Blu-ray, and then you can make money. Exactly. So and that's, that's all it's all about, right? Making money. That's all about right? making money. And but the thing is, if yep. you make shit content, people are not going to watch them. Bye. That's true. That's so true, you know? Right? So there you go. Good. But no, I'm excited. You guys let us know. You guys excited? You'd like Kevin Feige's plan moving forward for movies, oh, moving, you know, whatever? I'm definitely happy. I'm not going to complain because you know what? The more the better. Just quality. We just want quality over quantity. But I think in this case with Marvel, we're great, right? Mm -hmm. So the one thing we want to talk about, guys, the last topic before we get to our main topic, Scotty. There's a little film called Terminator coming out, The Dark Fate, Scotty. Dark Fate. We're going to try and see this thing sometime on the weekend. Yes. Hopefully, uh, you know, it's going to be good. Apparently, mm -hmm. all the reviews have been great. Mm -hmm. People are raving. Lynn Hamilton is good. Schwarzenegger is even good in here. He's, like, he's cracking one-liners and stuff. Yep. Um, it's a good, apparently, it's the third one in the all the other ones, so I guess they're Redconning, uh, yeah, they're, get, they're getting rid of Terminator 3 and Salvation. So, Rise of the Machine, Salvation, and, and Genesis. Genesis. So, they're that's gone. This ones. is going to be direct sequel, sequel to, to T2, Judgment Day. Judgment Day, which was a great film, by the way. Yeah, that was excellent. So, you know, people are saying that it's on par with that, but not exactly like that. But the Terminator in this one, the guy who played Ghost Rider. Yes. Uh, I can't remember uh, the actor's know name, know name, but, but you know, but apparently it. he's did a good job in this. The critics are happy with it. Everybody's happy. People are leaving theaters, all whatever. So are you excited for I'm this? I'm very excited. I've never seen the Terminator movie in the theater. You haven't, eh? No. I think I seen T2 when I was a kid. Yeah, so no. you can only imagine me going to see, and I'm bugging this guy. I'm surprised Scotty told me, I'm going to go see the Terminator maybe this weekend. I'm like, okay, man, let's check it out. Let's so, go. you know, hopefully down the road, you'll see a, a nice, lovely review from us. Yes. Whether it be Sunday or Monday, I don't know. We'll just got to figure out when we're going to go see this damn thing with their schedule. Yeah. You know? So it'll be interesting, Scotty. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, Scotty. Yes, sir. What is this week's main topic? This main week... This week's so main excited. topic... Can speak, I can't guys. speak. You know? This week's main topic is... Um, J... Um, Jesus Christ, the, the JJ? JJ, oh my god, I can't even remember shit. <laughs> J. Jonah Jameson releasing the video. I think the Terminator terminated your brain. I, th I think god. so, oh my god, I had a brain for it. Cut that out, cut that out. Uh, no, J. Jonah Jameson and Sony Pictures released something on their An YouTube extended uh, thing, right? Extended their, version uh, of... Um, Far From Home? Far From Home. And post credit? Yeah, the extended version of the Far From Home credit scene. Okay. Basically saying that Peter Parker's a, a stupid guy or whatever and and how is this gonna affect the Morbius movie and Venom now or where does Spider-Man go from there are and they gonna use what happened in the post credit is it gonna affect the storyline or plot point for Spider-Man 3 yes so Scotty since you're the Spider-Man fan I'm gonna let yes. you yes. talk during this main topic because so, I know you love Spider-Man <laughs> so I think J. Jonah Jameson is gonna be the connective tissue between Morbius and Venom okay. and Spider-Man in the MCU He's the one that's going to bring everybody together. It's a perfect opportunity to do so. Why not? If, if good actor. If Venom is going to New York like they say he is, yep. he's swinging by, he can have J. Jonah Simmons on the screen with his Daily Bugle. Maybe hey, he'll get a job working for J.J. You never know. Maybe when he got discredited in New York, it wasn't for J.J. It was probably for like Some New, other stupid like New York Post or whatever. Yeah, could be. Right? Hey, that might work. Or maybe it was that and you're going to find out a little bit more of that. Scott, so you're... Scotty's a genius. MCU, Marvel, Marvel. Uh, Kevin know, Feige, you can sit down and relax. You got Scotty. Kevin here. Feige, you know, you can. My number is on our uh, page there. We'll put the phone over there, so then if he calls, yeah, we'll put that Bob Iger Feige you know, phone. You know, you got me. You I'm know? there for you. <laughs> so you're saying that with that post-credit scene, you'll be able to connect uh, yeah. the Sony Universe, Venom Universe with exactly. Spider-Man using that character. Exactly. Eventually, they're gonna have to cross paths. So damn true because Fox, the original whatever, was Sony by itself, right, with Toby, mm -hmm. and now you have them appearing in there. That could be the thread, Scotty, that brings everything together. So you can introduce Morbius, Venom. Spider-Man going in. <laughs> yes. That's how excited this guy is. <laughs> Spider-Man being connected to the whole. Yeah. Because Spider-Man's only going to stick around for what? Two more films? Two and more then, films. And they're going to extend the deal. 100%. I think so. You know, when you can just have Spider-Man do like what Iron Man does, whatever. He can appear in an Avengers movie just so you can have him in the MCU. Exactly. But, hey, he's still around. Here he is. 
but he's doing his own thing. Exactly. And it'll be a great way to hype up the uh, Spider-Verse, I guess, in a way, right, Scotty? Yeah, Just, Could you sure. see the possibilities? Yep, so that's it. That's pretty much short and simple. Yep. Anyways, that's all for us. Um, so if you guys like this episode of Silver Canadians, hit a like, share, subscribe. Do check out our other videos, our trailer reactions, our unboxing videos. Future movie reviews, if feature, we do any. And future movie reviews, yes. Check all right. Up. All right, be good.